on this episode of Counting Cars. Pony Mike takes me on a wild goose chase. I don't see no dogs. Easy there, buddy. Hello. Rolly and Scott go to war. Oh. What's up, Rolly, baby? <laughs> and things heat up over a last minute change on a 73 Charger. It's not done. What do you mean it's not done? Four hours, customer will be here. I have to side with Scott here. We cancel the customer right now. The car's not done. Vegas is a gambling town. Most people bet with chips. I bet with rides. Look at this. And I always go all in. Wow. What would you take for this? I'm Danny, AKA The Count. And this is my all-star team. We find them, fix them, flip them, and sometimes I keep them. This is 30 G. I can't help myself. For my crew, every job's high stakes, and we can't afford to lose. This is Counting Cars. Earlier in the week, Scott got a lead on a 1973 Dodge Charger that's currently collecting dust in another local shop. I'm told it's in fantastic shape, so Kevin and I are gonna go check it out. You know what? That's also the Dukes of Hazard car, isn't it? It was a Dodge Charger, absolutely, but a whole different era. Don't you have some Daisy Dukes? I think I've seen you out washing your car wearing them. Oh, yeah, that's what I washed my car with, yeah. A Daisy Dukes. <laughs> You're a funny guy. Johnny D's Auto Johnny Repair. Johnny D's Auto Repair. So just pull in. Yeah, why not? Oh, I see the nose. I see a charger. Right there. Why is that nose sitting up so high? Why does it not look like there's an engine in that car? And there's no hood. Let's just see what he's got. You were right. No motor, no trans. Hopefully he has it. Did Scott not tell us that it was, I thought hey, it was guys. drivable? I'm not sure. You guys. You guys from Count Customs? Absolutely. Yep. You Johnny? I'm Johnny. Johnny, I'm Danny. Very nice doing, to meet Danny? you. Kevin. How you doing, big nice Kevin? To meet you. Thanks for calling us out on this, man. I appreciate yeah. it. Heard you guys were looking for a car for a project and Absolutely. We've got a client, as a matter of fact, that's looking for a 73 Charger. Huh? This it's a good looking car. Chargers have always been a badass car since the day they were born. They just say muscle. Does it have an engine? Nope. Okay. All right, so that answers our question earlier. We were wondering what kind of motor it had. It's whatever we put in it then. And what kind of hood it had. <laughs> whatever we put on. Whatever it is. All right. I guess you talked to Scott at yeah. our shop. Big Scott. Yeah, because we were under the impression that we could drive it. I don't know why. <laughs> I can't believe we drove all the way over here for what we thought was going to be a quick flip, and the car has no engine. Scott really screwed up. Good Lord. Okay, a little bit of a mess, but this is nice. I like oh, it. It's a nice start. It's straight, it's solid looking. So was this something you were gonna build? Yeah, I was gonna build it as a project, but I just never got time. I know that feeling. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure you do. Well, let me ask you a question, man. What do you need to get out of this? You know, 17 sound fair? Or... If we did it in $100 bills, would you do 15? You know, I could probably be talked into something like that. And that's all I carry, $100 bills. That's all that ever mattered, ain't it? Absolutely. I think we scored today. I was expecting a complete car. I was expecting something with an engine and a transmission and a hood. But uh, something got lost in translation somewhere. I will call that a, uh, a Scottism. I'm not bummed about that because the car is nice. You know what we ought to do with Scott? What's that? Is we ought to put Scott in here. Yeah. And it'd be like... Uh, Making a rickshaw at home? Yeah, it'd oh. be just like the Flintstones. I... <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, you want to take care of this with Johnny? And if you don't mind, man, can I poke around your shop a little bit? All you like. I love it. Thanks, brother. Whoa, whoa, hey, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. I think Johnny's holding out on us. You got to wander down here into Happy Land. What's he talking about? A couple Camaros. Oh, no, uh-uh. Come on. We I'll gotta be go. over here, man. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. He does this to me all the time. Well, is this yours? No, it's a customer's. It's just... 68? 69. 69. This one's not for sale. Yeah. This, no. It's yeah. a keeper. Come on. It's beautiful. Johnny's got some really pretty, sexy iron laying around that shop. Z28. 72? Yes, sir. This was a fun little field trip today, I gotta say. I got some paper towels to clean it drool. I know. Come on, Rocky, let's go get a treat with Uncle Danny. Man. 
Seriously, Mike? <laughs> it's got to be like 130 out here today. Well, you needed a little walk. The other day, a guy came in to order a custom bike. I like low center of gravity. I like one color, but a loud color. Kind of a pro street vibe. Now, Horny Mike knows a guy who might have a custom frame, but he's rarely ever around, so it's not a sure thing. But we're on our way over there right now to go check it out. Anybody home? I guess we could have tried going out around front and knocking on the door. Nah, that'd be too easy. Easy there, buddy. Easy <laughs> there, buddy. I don't see no dogs. I'm just looking for Fido, man. <laughs> if I see one, I'm going to point right at you. Watch. <laughs> Get him. Get him. Hello? I don't think there's anybody home, dude. Nah, Maybe I'm we starting shouldn't to feel like that. Nah, I know. I'm starting to feel like we shouldn't be here, man. Was that what you're talking about? That's it, right there. That was out by the back door. Yeah, well, you know, I don't, don't want to go in here any, any further, man. What you need, man? Hey, man, how you doing? Good. Uh, sorry we snuck in on you, but um, by the way, I'm Danny. How you doing? We're Danny? good, good, good. We're just uh, John. We're, we're bike guys. Hey, John, how are you? Good, man? good. We uh, he told me he came by earlier and thought you had a uh, what looked like a project laying out in the uh, in the in the backyard, mm -hmm. and he said that that might be it right there. That is it. That is it. Spotted. All right. Is that one you're working on? Getting to? Uh, starting? I, I don't know. I got it. I don't really have time to finish it. Would that be something you might be interested in getting rid of? Yeah. You betcha. Yeah, Mike. What this looks like to me, it looks like an Atlas frame. Yeah, Atlas frame. Cool. And and uh, the motor was what'd you say it was? It's a 107. Nice. Atlas makes high-quality custom frames designed to fit Harley engines and transmissions. And this should make an excellent start for what the client has in mind. I, I like it. Get a nice, a nice fat tank slammed down low over that, and you know, you Take get it a... all the way down. Yeah. Take it as close to the motor as you exactly. can. Exactly. What are you in the mood for to take for this today? Let's start out at 35. Well, John, you know, you're. Obviously, a bike guy running a oh, shop back here, so yeah. you you know what's in store for me to make this happen. Do you consider like two thousand dollars in cash, hundred dollar bills? Twenty five, and it's yours. You're on. You're on. I don't consider it done, brother man. Mike, call. I don't know, maybe Roly. Have, have him come over here and uh, with something we can we can get this home with. John, thank you, brother. You got you. We need someone to come pick up a bike around the corner. Out the outside, man. You get the heavy end. Whoa. I said get the heavy end. <laughs> I did. You just brought the cart. They said I need to bring the cart. That's it. I don't think you understood them very well. Probably should have brought the van, too. You didn't bring no straps, nothing. We got to bring this I didn't know why I cart. bring the cart here. Oh, this blows. It's not going to look suspicious if we are walking with this bike on the street like two homeless. Well, we won't look homeless, but we might look like we stole some you idiot. I don't know if it's going to fit, really. That bike's so long. I think it should fit. The other day, Scott sent Danny and I on a mission all the way across town to look at a car that had no motor in it. It's time for a little payback. We're going to put it back so the tire is going to hit the door. Oh, yeah, right. And he's so big. Yeah. Let's do something with his phone. He's gonna be I so love pissed it. off. You signed my paycheck, not him. Right. So. Ah. This nice and wet. I'm glad this is leather. Yeah, I got some lotion. Ugh. It's been on the sun. Yeah, it's like it's... three years old. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, perfect. What the hell is that in my office? Get out of here! What the f out of here? I cannot believe some. Hey. Down's customs. I know these are too stupid to get out of the building. Devin, were you in on this? Who was it? Tell me who it was. I, I 
Is it you? How you doing today? Oh, you got jokes today, huh? Kevin, I saw you! <laughs> Get my <laughs> clean. <laughs> yeah. A few weeks ago, Horny Mike found this Atlas frame that we're gonna be using to build a custom bike for a customer that I've got. Shannon. He's putting the engine in, transmission in, front end, wiring, getting this whole thing set up so we can turn our $2,500 investment into a solid payday. But right now, I'm headed back to the shop. I want to check out our Charger project because I got a potential buyer coming down to check it out. Big D, we're ready, baby. What's up, gents? Buyer inbound. Give me some stamp, and let's make this money. Nice. She looks beautiful, man. Yeah. This thing came out gorgeous. We originally bought this Charger for $1,500. Now, over the past month, Put a new engine in it, transmission in it, beautiful brand new interior in it, full custom paint job on her. She is absolutely gorgeous. Now, with all the parts and the labor in it, I'm hoping we can flip this car for about 23 grand. She purrs too. Yeah? She purrs. Let's take a listen. Oh, yeah. I got no complaints so far, you guys but I'm still looking. Get the hell out of here. You're just toying with me. Every car that comes out of my shop has Count's Customs name on it, and I never let a car leave unless it lives up to my standards. If it's not perfect, it's not finished. End of story. It's not done. What the do you mean it's not done? You just walked around the whole car. You said it's perfect. I said I was liking him. Is your bandana choking your head? Four hours, customer will be here. This guy's a real buyer. This is somebody who's got a sentimental value to this year and make. What are we missing here? Because I'm looking at it, and it looks done to me. I need to talk to Horny Mike and Ryan. Danny, I, I have to side with Scott here. I've got a guy coming down here with cash. I'd like to get rid of this. I don't mean to sound rude, but I don't really care. This car's leaving the shop with my name on it. Come on now, you're going to shoot the budget in the foot. My buyer is going to be here in four hours. I cannot believe Danny, once again, is going to make a change in the ninth hour. The guys spent weeks working their butts off on this Dodge Charger, and although she looks beautiful, something's not quite right. I got a thought. It's going to put this car over the top and increase that potential for profit. Ryan, I thought you were like this with him. Get it right on the yeah, first it's time. it's done. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And it's beautiful. under budget. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. But there's a whole lot of car here, a whole lot of real estate that's all the same color. Papa, we can't repaint this whole car. We're not. We're not. Here's what we need. Satin black. That's easy. You know what I'm saying? OK. That's an easy one. That's nothing. There's more. There's more. There's more. It's pretty easy the Mopar billboards in satin, just like the hood. Right. Give me a little satin love around here. Gotcha. Scott, find me the fender well trim, shoot it satin to match, we're done. That was a lot. No, it wasn't. <laughs> What's the estimated time on that, Ryan? Give me three or four hours. For the little bit we're put into it, we're going to get more out of it. As long as you go up to your office for the next five hours and don't change nothing else. I'm not changing anything. Swear? I really love the car. I know it's risky making last minute changes, but right is right. And if I add the correct graphics to this Charger's paint job, it might cost a little bit more now, but it's going to look so much better when it's done. And in my book, that equals greater value and higher profits. While Ryan finishes the paint job on the Charger, the Atlas bike it's right and ready. We've been working on it for weeks. We took our customer's vision, found the right frame at a bargain price, added a high-end motor, put a classy orange paint job on it, turned this thing into art on wheels. He's here to collect on his investment. I just hope we haven't let him down. Michael, I do believe we probably hit this right on the money. I'm here today at Counts Customs to finally see my motorcycle. Danny says it's done. He says I'm going to love it. I haven't seen it yet but I'm really excited to see my bike. Fire that up and bring it out.
That's you. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Beautiful. Minimal colors. Yep, like you wanted. Hey, check this out. Got some cup holder, or I don't know what that is, a <laughs> carburetor. <laughs> Tell me that is not what we talked about. She's long, she's low, she's smooth, she's fat. Minimalistic. Absolutely. Oh, she's clean, one color. Fat, sexy butt, skinny waist. Yep, it's got them curves. No gauges. Right. No switches. No, no, just clean all the way around. Love the way the fenders hug it. Oh, mm -hmm. never seen one exactly like this. Mm -hmm. She's low and fat. Try this thing on, man. See how it fits. <laughs> the first time I saw the bike, I was floored. Danny and I were on the same exact page. He read my mind. I saw high performance features I've never even seen before. This is something you literally can ride all day long, but yet uh, you can just absolutely whoop some butt out on the street, too, man. Oh, I like the stance. I like where my arms fall. Uh huh. Beautiful. And it's long without being too long. You know, it was like in between. I like the statement it makes. Yeah, it wasn't, really wasn't the crazy does. long bike. Oh, it's not yeah. a short bike. Yeah. So. I think it's time to get you in the wind. <laughs> this custom job was a fun one for me. The customer and I, we were in total sync on this project from the get-go. With that Atlas frame that Horny Mike found, I was able to increase my profit to $4,000. day, these two idiots, Kevin and Rolly, they thought they'd play a joke on me. Their problem is they know I'm going to get him back. Kevin, he's out doing business today. But Rolly, I got something for his little ass. Oh, <laughs> Wake up, do your job. <laughs> you. <laughs> I hurt my knee, too. Oh, you want me to get you a Band-Aid? You're going to be all right. Hey, you know what? Little girl. You put in this bike, man. <laughs> Here's the spray. It looks good. Here's the spray. Finish it. It looks good. OK. Hey, next time we do it together, OK? Work together. <laughs> What's up, baby? What's up? What's up, baby? What's going on? Oh, you wanted to play with a big dog. We're not even. I'm just getting started. <laughs> After I talked Scott off the ledge, he convinced the potential buyer to come in a little bit later, which gave my guys a little bit more time to finish the paint job on the Charger the way I want to see it. Check it out, brother. Your 73 Charger awaits. Oh, uh, tell me that ain't beautiful. Thanks, Roland. Outstanding. <laughs> Came out really, really nice. My Came goodness. Out. She's basically brand new from front to back. The engine is completely rebuilt. The transmission is completely rebuilt. All new interior. Anything that was bad on it has been completely cut out and replaced. Is brand new from top to bottom. That's like I'm a kid again. <laughs> <laughs> when I first saw the car, it was just outstanding. They did a super, super, super job. How nice this is. Takes you back? It sure does. <laughs> <laughs> this is a show car. This is just fantastic. Blacked out taillights. Good, 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 good. Just little little flavor touches. The gunmetal gray has just uh -huh. got a little bit of ice pearl in it just to add a little schmutz to it when it gets out in the sunlight. The paint is perfect on it. The color is just great. The black accents on it fit perfect. I got to have it. <laughs> <laughs> got to have it. That was easy. What kind of money are you asking? This car came out gorgeous. All in, I'm about 18.5 on the paint and the restoration. To make a profit, I need to get about 22, 23 grand out of it. But today, I'm really hoping to sell this car for around 28 grand. We're asking 28, Dave, and you knowing cars and knowing this car, I think you can see that there's a good value here. It's a little steep. Okay. I mean, I've got a budget to work with. Okay. And I've got a wife to answer to. Uh -huh. <laughs> Amen to that. I got uh, you, brother. I was thinking low 20s. Well, can you, you do that? Good. Show them the, let's show them the Let's engine. take a look underneath for a second here. That's not hard to mm. look at either. No. <laughs> you know, you can take it, show it off, and, and be proud to raise the hood. I'm still low 20s. Yeah. Can we work with the price? Sure, there's some room, Kevin. What do you what do you think, man? 
How's 26.5? I'll tell you what. 25. That's it, cash. Cash? Cash. 25 cash? 25 cash. If you can do that, you got a deal. You just bought yourself a car, Dave. 25. Absolutely, man. I think Great. you and your wife are going to have a ball. Congratulations. When a customer wants a first-class ticket back to the glory days, the devil's in the details. Going the extra mile on this paint job, it really paid off. He got himself a gorgeous muscle car, and I picked up a nice little chunk of change.